Hey everyone, so today I'm sharing some Daniel Fast approved recipes that are quick and easy to make. Let's start off with these nutty rice cakes. If you like breakfast with a crunch or you like granola bars, then I think you're going to enjoy this one. It's super easy and quick. I'm just using two rice cakes and what you're going to do is you're just going to take some peanut butter and you're just going to smear it on the top of each rice cake. And I just found this part so satisfying to do. I just wanted to get it um, really smooth and perfect, but you don't have to do all of that. But yeah, so I'm just putting some peanut butter on my other rice cake and you can literally top it with any ingredients you want. I find that the best ingredients are like any type of dried fruit, um, nuts or seeds. If you kind of like sweet and salty, you can put some sunflower seeds, but I'm gonna be using cranberries and i am just sprinkling my cranberries at the top right here and i'm also going to be using some raisins because this is just what i like but you can use any types of dried fruit that you desire and i'm just going to sprinkle some peanuts on top because i feel like it can't be nutty rice cakes without any nuts um so yeah try this recipe out and let me know if you like it all right so our next um recipe is going to be for a creamy papaya smoothie and i love the fruit papaya because it really is creamy versus doing like strawberries in the regular so i'm using some coconut water but you can use any dairy-free milk if you want like almond milk soy milk or coconut cream um, i'm using some dates some ice as well so what you're going to do is you're going to cut your papaya in half and we're just going to take all of these seeds out of the papaya. I'm also going to be using some pineapple. I forgot to include that here at the beginning, but I'm going to use a handful of pineapple as well in this recipe. So right here, I am just getting all the seeds out and I'm going to use half of a papaya. I found that half of a papaya is good enough for like four servings if you are someone who um you know you're single or you're doing this fast by yourself you probably don't even need half of a papaya for this recipe if you're just making it for the day but what i love about this is you can save the papaya and you can just keep making this smoothie you know throughout the week for a snack for breakfast so i just love how far um this recipe goes and that you can just keep using these ingredients but if you have like a family of four or two then definitely use half of a papaya and you can save the other half in the fridge for a later time so here I am just taking my time be careful with the knife um I'm taking my time to just peel off um the skin filling my blender with some ice and then I am just going to roughly chop this whole half of the papaya into my blender. All right, now I have it in my blender. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my, um, my pitted dates. And I am using about eight of these dates. If you don't want it too sweet, you can use like eight. Um, to 10. 8 to 10 is what I recommend and I just filled it with some coconut water up to the top of the ice and now I am just blending it all together. So if you need to add more ice, I realized mine was a little too liquidy, so just add more ice if you need to and adjust it to get to the thick consistency that you want. If you want it to be thicker, add more ice and here I am adding some frozen pineapples as well you have to add the pineapple it's not going to be the same without it <laughs> but um your pineapples don't have to be frozen but i added some frozen pineapple here you can also do um like a handful of fresh pineapple with some of the pineapple juice that would be really good as well and you just want to keep it blended until everything is like blended and molded into this creamy smooth consistency and this is the final result. This, I just love this smoothie. It's not too sweet, which you don't want overly sweet on a fast, but it's just right and it's perfect. 
For our last recipe, we are doing smoky okra and grits. Now, this is great for anyone who likes southern food. Um, I'm using some tomato paste. We're using some quick grits because you just want it to be quick. You don't want to be in the kitchen all day when you're supposed to be fasting. Um, we have a tomato. We have some green onions. I only ended up using one of these stalks. And then I also have like a handful of okra as well. So this is like a southern, more savory breakfast for someone who doesn't really like sweets or maybe you don't like nuts or anything like that. Um, I think this would be a great option for you. So I'm just boiling some water and I'm putting some olive oil in the water and you just want to bring this to a boil and then once it's boiling, you want to add your okra to it. Now, okra is a really crunchy ingredient. Some people like it crunchy, but I really like to boil this down for about at least 10 minutes, honestly. And I want to boil this down until it gets really soft um because i just don't want it crunchy and i want it to be cooked through so when you're able to like pierce a fork through it and it's falling off and it, like sliding back and forth then you know it's ready so just let it you know sit there on the stove for about 10 minutes minimum and just keep checking it to see if you can pierce it and if it's like really soft and then the next thing you're gonna do is just drain it out Okay, I've drained it, I've washed it. Now I am lining it up so that I can cut it. I like to cut off the tops of it. I don't like that part. You can eat it if you want, but I just line it up so I can cut off all the tops. And what I'm going to do is I am going to discard of this part. So I'm just going to throw this away because I'm not going to eat that part, but you can eat it if you'd like. And then while it's lined up, I am just going to chop everything down into bite-sized pizzas. Now, if you've never had okra before, do not get worried when you see all these seeds. Um, it's part of it and you can eat it and it's edible and it's good. So please do not let these seeds overwhelm you. You don't have to separate it from the seeds. Um, it's completely edible. They're soft. No one is going to choke. <laughs> um, you know, you'll be fine as long as you cook it down properly. So I just wanted to make that comment in case someone is unfamiliar um, with the okra. So I am just cutting everything down into the bite-sized pieces. Now, I hope that you've been enjoying our corporate Daniel fast so far. Um, it's been amazing. We're in week one. If you want to learn more about our corporate Daniel fast, you can click the link in the description. But I am just putting on a pan with some oil and I am just going to put about a teaspoon um, of this tomato paste here and be careful the oil was hot because I had it on high and it was popping so definitely just be careful with this hot oil and then you're going to add your okra to it and the point of this is to really get that tomato paste mixed in with the the sticky juices of the okra and this is going to be like a base for our slurry or for our sauce whatever you want to call it so just mixing those together and I am chopping my green onion. Now, don't be like me. You can chop your green onion in advance if you just want it to be prepared just so that, you know, it doesn't take you too long and you're not burning your food. Um, but this is just how I cook. I like to just chop stuff in the middle of me doing it. <laughs> Um, but you can while you know, after you chop your okra before you start cooking, you can also chop your green onions and chop your tomatoes. But this is just how I cook. I'm chopping my green onions while I'm already cooking the okra. So I'm just using one stalk of the green onions and I am just going to mix that in and it is smoky. So here's the smoky part of the okra and grits, but I just turned on my fire bit because you definitely don't want to burn your food, but 
I love it at this texture and where it is. I like it with just a little bit of char. And then I'm going to add water to really bring this sauce to life. Okay, so I had boiled some water there and I just added it and it's going to turn into like this red sauce um, slurry so that you're not eating any dry grits. My husband doesn't like dry food. I can eat dry food sometimes, but he likes it to have some sauce in it. So we're going to cut half of this tomato just to add um, some more moisture to it and like I said, you can cut this in advance, but I don't really care for it to be in perfect little pieces. I just care for it to taste good. And I am just cutting half of this tomato in there. And then we're going to add our seasonings um, in moderation. So you are allowed to have seasonings and things like that during the Daniel fast, um, but just in moderation. All right, so um, I'm just taking the other half of this onion. I'm going to squeeze out the rest of this tomato juice because we do not want to waste that. All right, so I am just mixing this all in and it's just looking good. And if you see that your sauce is kind of drying out um, at any point, then you can always add more water to it. So I'm adding some parsley and I'm just eyeballing it, y'all. This is just how I cook. <laughs> some oregano, just a little bit, a little bit of salt in moderation and a little bit of pepper, okay? And then um, I saw it was drying out. So I'm adding some water to really keep that sauce alive, okay? So... Make sure your water isn't cold. Either have it boiling water that you can add to it or at room temperature. This is my grits. Just follow the instructions for your grits. I literally made this in the microwave um, and it came out super creamy and good. Now I am adding my concoction of okra at the top and y'all, let me, I want you to try this and let me know what you think. Like and subscribe this video if you enjoyed it. This is the final result. And stay tuned for more Daniel Fast recipes. The last thing I did was mix it all up. This is optional. So you can eat it how it was before. Or if you want to get all the ingredients <laughs> mixed up together like so, then you can just mix it all up to your liking. And I was tasting it and I'm like, ooh, this is good. <laughs> and then I took some more. Mm -hmm.